Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is John, the RPG Lord. In this video series, you're gonna learn how to create a dungeon that your players are gonna love to explore. Today, we're gonna talk about the final part of the video, how to create the right atmosphere in your dungeon. Welcome to the last video of the series. If you have followed my advice through and through, then by now, you should have a pretty good organized dungeons with all the bells and whistles. Now let's uh, take a look at the final touches and finish up with the atmosphere. Okay, so we've added treasure, we've added fights, we've made our rooms, we've drawn our map, but the final icing on our cake is to create the atmosphere. Now let's ask ourselves the question, what is atmosphere in Dungeons and Dragons? atmosphere in short is how your players experience the game remember in Dungeons and Dragons you have to be their eyes and ears you have to describe to them what they're experiencing okay they need to feel that they are in it and it is your job to make them feel the way you want them to feel. Let's ask ourselves the question, how much is too much? Well, if it takes you five minutes to describe one room, then it's way too much. If you just tell them, okay, you walk into a room, blah, 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 this is in there, blah, 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 then it's a little too less. So you need to find, as always, the right medium ground. You need to give your players the reference points for the dungeon, but let their mind fill in the rest. My best advice is you tell them what they hear, you tell them what they see, smell, if, they, if necessary, touch, depending on the situation, maybe taste, again depends on the situation and emotional feelings if the situation calls for it now we have created in our dungeon already a room and as an example I'm gonna go and give the final touches to room one the great hall now we decided there's gonna be an altar in there, some pew, benches, statues and we're gonna have six skeletons in there they're going to fight so, uh, make this a little larger for you guys so you can see better even if you're on your mobile. So, I would start, since this, this is the first room they're walking in, you have to give them the atmosphere. So let's go back and talk about sounds, sight, smell, touch, all the feelings. I personally, and as I said, this is very personal, this is a lot of work to do, so you might not want to write it out. I personally write it out because then I can read it to the player and don't have to worry that I forget something. So this is, this is totally up to you. I know this is a lot of work, but I would advise you to keep at least short notes to give you an idea of what the description is. So I would start out with a room description. And I start something. You have entered a large hall. And the distance is about 3, 6, 9, 10, 13, 16. 16 by 3, 6, 9, 10. Nine. A large hall. 16 by 11 meters long. It was clear that this, uh, it, it is clear that this was the main hall of the temple. You see several benches in the front 
There is a stone altar and behind the altar there are several stone statues. Okay, right now all I've done is described what is in the room. We have that. I have not added the skeletons and there's a reason for that. So, now let's give him how it feels. The air in the room feels cold and stale as if nobody has been in here for hundreds of years. We've talked about what they see. Now how there's really uh, we have talked about the smell. A strange clicking sound is heard from where the altar is located. Now, we know that those are the skeletons banging their heads against the altar in worshipping. So here it comes the thing is this is pretty much all that you hear if you walk in the room like a normal person. However, what if the players walk in and say, okay, we're going to be absolutely silent. And then we are going to extinguish our torches and we walk towards the light. Then you would have to describe to them, you, have, you see six skeletons in reverence touching the altar which gives the clicking sound but if that's not the case then the skeletons probably as they approach with their torches what have you they probably will notice hey wait a minute they are <laughs> coming so now we're going to give our gm stuff gm i always start with a bracket and said if the players are quiet, they can surprise the worshipping skeletons. And that's always, I can't spell. So that's pretty much the only note I would give myself here. So for this room, this is pretty much all I do when it comes to write up. As I said, you can agree or disagree with me if that is too much. If yeah, you don't want to write so much, that's up to you. I advise you that you do because it will summarize everything neatly. And that is pretty much it. If you do this for all the rooms in your dungeon, well, congratulations, you have just made an awesome dungeon. I hope you enjoyed this video series. I'm going to be back with something entirely new, hopefully within a week or so. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And remember, there's only one RPG Lord. I wish you a good day, and I see you in the next video, guys.